want to talk to you today a little bit about uh, latency and understanding latency and how it works. Um, so I think that's very important when and a basic recording setup. So let's uh, talk to, about latency first of all. We have here a little diagram, okay? Now, if you see the diagram there, you've got your audio playing going out the USB host, it's going to the audio interface, and you're listening to it out the audio output. And you go back, audio input, A to D converter, to USB, computer buffer, back to your door host, host software. So basically, if I had a click track, for example, and play the click track, there'll be a latency between these two here until the audio buffers and the D2A converters and the analog out. And then you'll hear it and then you'll sing it uh, through the process of the UI24. Don't forget that there's some DSP processing. And analog in, you normally go directly to USB. So there's no processing there unless you're recording out of an OGS or the master outputs. Um, so still, you, you got your A to D conversion then the USB host latency into the door. So I'll show you something interesting here so you can see exactly what we're talking about as far as the latency is concerned, okay? Be a great idea to uh, understand this really well. So this is Reaper and I've got a click track here and that's one click basically. Uh, if we listen to it, okay. Okay, so you can hear that there. Um, and um, if I rec would record that click directly, so I play the click, go out the UI24 with a cable, come back into it, then I will have roughly, depending on what buffer settings you're saying, roughly about four millisecond latency. So if you are doing overdubs, you need to think about this and you need to first do this experiment by putting a click track down, playing it back into the uh, UI24 and going back into it uh, with a cable to see what the latency of your whole system is so you know how to change the uh, audio so then it all comes tightly in because otherwise for example if there's a click track and then you're singing and there's guitar playing and there's drums they already did that were recorded before and you're playing them back everything is is going to be two three milliseconds uh, sometimes four sometimes five depending on your setup it's going to be two or three milliseconds out of whack which doesn't sound like much and i agree it's not much but it can certainly um, not make it as tight as far as the music is concerned. And another thing that can happen is you can have phasing issue. For If, I, if you would have, for example, that click is a symbol that's happening and it, it doesn't align exactly. For example, uh, if this kind of thing happens underneath it, okay, that's called phasing because basically what's going to happen is a similar sound being picked up by one mic to a similar sound in another mic. And many times it happens with overheads, with toms picking up cymbals or cymbal overheads picking up uh, uh, hi-hats and so on and so forth, especially with higher end, uh, high frequency sounds, you're going to get some cancellation and you need to be careful of that. So it's best to get everything in phase. If I play the, uh, the actual... Um, click now, you'll hear it very, very, very different to what it was before. Okay, if I mute that. And, and basically that's what's called out of phase. And what's happening is that the, the alignment of the tracks is not right and that's creating phasing issues for you. Uh, a much better way of doing it and much less latency is don't do your mix for the headphones from the software itself as far as the playback don't go into channels and then mix mix directly to the headphones of the ui24 the reason for that is is when you're going into a, uh, a ui24 itself okay uh, then basically you're coming into a channel 
um, and the channel has processing. So that's going to add another two milliseconds or so. While if you go into our uh, patching page here and to the patching and you go into the USB door to channels, okay, that means you can go, uh, sorry, to hardware outputs. You can go directly from the a USB to a hardware output, which means I can send, for example, USB channel seven and eight. I can send it to headphones left and right. Okay. Uh, and, and that will then save you another two or three milliseconds, depending on the processing that you've got running there. Now I better come back and plug this back in because I can't hear anything in my headphones. There you go. And that'll save you a couple of milliseconds as well. So that's number one. To so do the OG sends, I would suggest doing mixes directly to headphones from the software or uh, for, for playback, okay? And that way you'll save a couple of milliseconds when singing if you can do so. Um, otherwise, as far as selecting inputs and outputs, I'm running two programs at the moment here using the um, using the UI24. Okay, so one of them is vMix, of course, which we're using to stream with. And I've selected that only for channel one and two. And then what I did here on the options and preferences, and it's the same with any program, and I'll bring that screen right here so you can see it well. I've selected only two inputs here because three and four I sent to streaming. So I've selected input one and two here and one to 32 as output because I'm not using vMix. Uh, so I could obviously select more channels here, but then I'll have a conflict because I'm using uh, inputs on the vMix as well and that'll create issues. Uh, but that, that's as, as simple as that. I would set your studio up that way for uh, the recording side of things. Uh, and so then when you're playing back out, let's zoom out. Okay, nicely here. I'm going to just click on this. And I did some experiments here with recording a click track via AUX, AUX Direct, and that was less latency. Um, and that's why I would suggest you to do that. And here I've got some drums. If it's hooked up, that is. Let's see in a minute. Um, because I wanted to show you something. I'll go into the recording of drums as well. I think I'll do that as a separate video. So this is just for recording setup. I'll do another video now with uh, with the drum mixing. Thank you.